Hello friends, today while implementing the GDPR consent form for one of my apps, I have faced a strange problem. I have changed the GDPR message for my app in my AdMob account and handled request consent form in my app. And when I run the app, it shows like this. Instead of the app logo and app name, it is showing Welcome to Publisher Test Ads. Publisher Test Ads asks for your consent to use your personal data. And even though do not consent option is turned off while creating GDPR message, my app still shows the option for do not consent. And also recently I am getting many comments and emails regarding the same display problem from our channel viewers. So let's see what is the root cause for this and how to solve it. Hello friends, welcome back to Ireka Tech Solutions. See here, in my AdMob account, I have created a GDPR message and linked to two apps. Yeah, actually, someone was asking, can we use the same GDPR message for all of my apps? Yes, you can link same GDPR message to one or more apps. When you open the message, here you have an option, your apps. Click on this edit icon and select the apps to which you want to have the same GDPR consent form. I have linked to two apps. Ingredients Translator and Telnote, that is Telugu Voice Notes. And I have turned off both the Do Not Consent option and Close option. Also, I have turned on the app logo display along with the app name. So, when I run my Ingredients Translator app on emulator for testing purpose, I have received my customized GDPR consent form perfectly. It shows app logo, app name and also there is no Do Not Consent option displayed. But when I run the Telnote app, it shows the consent form, but not my customized GDPR consent form. It shows default form. In the default settings, you get all three options, consent, do not consent and manage options. But it won't include close option. And also app logo is turned off by default. So it is showing the default message settings instead of my customized GDPR message. That means my app is not linked properly to my AdMob account. So to fix this issue, open Android manifest.xml file, go down, check for the ads application ID. Verify this ID with the app ID in AdMob. In my case, this is the test app ID which I have added for my testing purpose and I haven't changed later. So adding proper ads application ID here. To copy the correct app ID, go to your AdMob account, Apps, select the app, go to App Settings. This is the correct app ID we need to mention in the manifest. Copy, paste it here. Now run the app. Yes, see the app logo and app name is displayed. And also, do not consent option is not added here. So, if your app is not showing consent form or showing wrong consent form, then check the ads application ID in manifest. Hope this video helped you to solve this problem at your end. If yes, please comment, like the video and subscribe to iRecatech Solutions. Thank you.